My name's Leo and a couple of weeks ago I made a video on visual learners. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put it up here so make sure to check it out. But basically today I'm going to be talking about auditory learners. So before I say anything, I want to point out that many of us identify as more than one type of learner. So you can identify as both a visual learner and an auditory learner and a read and write learner if you want. But today I'll just be focusing on the best ways to learn and to memorize information through speaking and hearing methods which is basically the ways in which an auditory learner learns best. So for note taking, um, I'm mainly focusing on being lectured. When listening to a professor or a teacher speak, I think what's really important is to focus on what they're saying more than writing the actual notes. Really keep your notes brief, make it just simple outlines and focus really on what the teacher or professor is saying because you will remember what they say more than what you write down. The way to not miss any information would be to record the lecture and um, you might want to ask your professor or teacher whether they're okay with that. But you can do this through programs such as OneNote or Evernote and it's really great because then you can listen to your notes and the lecture again uh, as many times as you want so you make sure not to miss anything important. Listening to recorded lectures is one of the best ways to study and it doesn't matter what type of learner you are, it's always going to be very efficient, but it will be most efficient for auditory learners. What's great about it is that you can listen to the lectures anywhere you are, so whether you're at the gym, on public transport, you really want to make use of those filler times, so especially when you're on public transport, those times where you don't really do anything. Make the most out of your time to study the most that you can. It's the best way that you refresh information and that you really put it in your long-term memory. So I would definitely, definitely recommend this method. As for the lecture itself, one of the best ways for auditory learners to memorize information is by asking questions. So if you need clarification on a topic or on the material, don't hesitate at all to ask the teacher or professor. Next is study methods. So you're 50% more likely to memorize information by reading it aloud. So this is definitely something I recommend for auditory learners. And even better, record yourself reading the information out loud because as I said before, then you can listen to it whenever you want. Other small tips include using voice recognition software on the computer. So in this way you can have a computer read to you passages of what you need to learn. And even better, this is honestly one of the best study methods for auditory learners. If you need to read a book in English class, for example, try and find the novel as an audiobook version. So you can check it out on YouTube, maybe they have the audiobook version, or on audible.com, they have loads and loads of books. You can read it whenever you want, and this is especially good if you struggle reading and you're a slow reader, so just listening to it, especially because you can do other things at the same time, can be a really great way of reading a book, and this is especially true for an auditory learner. So in general, auditory learners will be really good at music, so this is why it's so great to memorize information through songs. So I remember my friend had to memorize all of the United States 50 states and their capitals, and she did so by memorizing Wacko's 50 states and capitals song. And so she came into the exam room and she just sung the song inside her head. And she forgot a verse, that's the only thing, but she did end up remembering it just at the last minute. So she got 100% just because she memorized the song. Creating songs or finding them online, there are so many songs online. So check them out and have a bit of fun while doing so as well. As I previously said, auditory learners learn best through speaking and hearing. So this is why I definitely recommend group discussions and debates to bring the information to life. So get with a group of friends and just talk about the material. This makes you more engaged as you're having a conversation. And as I said before, it really brings the material to life and it can be a lot of fun as well. I remember with a couple of friends and I, we used to study IB history by every Tuesday afternoon, going to a coffee shop and just talking about history. And it's just such a fun experience, especially for auditory learners who learn best through speaking and hearing. Engaging in that kind of activity can be one of the best ways to study. So additional things you can do is, of course, watch videos on the topic. So this works just like visual learners. Check out Crash Course and Khan Academy and there are so many other 
YouTube videos that you can find on topics that you learn at school or at university and watching videos and hearing and having an interaction with something can help you memorize the information. And secondly, something that's very important is to avoid uh, distractions in terms of sound. So either listening to relaxing music can be really great. I actually have an 8-tracks account, the US Studies, so make sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description box below. I usually do anyway though. <laughs> and uh, at the same time, make sure to avoid any outside distractions that can just you know, throw you off your concentration. So yeah, those were my tips for auditory learners and ways that they can study. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you like. Otherwise, I think that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!